What if the closest star to our Sun is hiding a second Earth, a planet where life might already exist? A place locked in eternal day and night, bombarded by deadly radiation, yet still strangely familiar. Today we're traveling beyond the edge of human reach to uncover the truth behind Proxima Centauri b, its terrifying conditions its impossible distance, and the shocking possibilities that scientists don't talk about. This is not science fiction. This is the closest alien world we may ever find. Earth, a lonely blue dot drifting through the void, covered in oceans, surrounded by clouds, full of life and mystery. For billions of years, this planet has been home to the strangest miracle we know us. And yet, we are surrounded by a universe that is vast, ancient, and completely silent. Why? Everywhere we look, we see planets, stars, galaxies, and still, no signals, no cities, no signs of intelligent life, not even a microbe. So, we begin to wonder, are we alone, or are we simply early? Because here's something you may not know. Life on Earth exists in places we once thought were impossible. In the boiling acid pools of Yellowstone, life forms cling to rocks where no human could survive. In the frozen deserts of Antarctica, microbes sleep beneath solid ice, waiting for just enough sunlight to awaken. If life can exist in such extremes on Earth, couldn't it also exist in some distant alien world? That's where the search begins. Scientists around the world are hunting for planets that sit in a very special region around their star, a place known as the Goldilocks Zone. Not too hot, not too cold, just right for liquid water to exist. Because where there's water, there might be life. And out there, in the darkness of space, orbiting the closest star to our sun, there is a rocky planet sitting quietly inside that exact zone. Its name is Proxima Centauri b. For decades, we've been listening, pointing massive radio telescopes at the sky, scanning for whispers in the cosmic dark, a signal, a pulse, a pattern that proves we're not alone. And yet, nothing. The universe is eerily quiet, We've discovered over 5,000 confirmed exoplanets and counting. Some are hot gas giants, others are frozen wastelands. A few lie in their star's habitable zone, but not one of them has revealed a single, undeniable sign of life. No alien messages, no structures, no spacecraft zooming past our telescopes, just silence. So what's going on? Could intelligent civilizations be hiding? Destroyed by their own progress before they could make contact? Or is life itself so rare that Earth really is the exception? Some scientists call this the Great Silence. Others call it the Fermi Paradox, the contradiction between the high probability of alien life and our total lack of evidence for it. And here's where it gets even more intriguing. Our technology has only just begun to scratch the surface. Imagine standing on the beach, scooping up a glass of ocean water, and declaring there are no whales because you didn't catch one in your cup. That's what our current space exploration is like. We've only explored a tiny fraction of the sky, less than 1% of our own galaxy, and the universe? It's billions of times larger. So. Maybe the silence isn't an answer. Maybe it's just the beginning of the question. But what if the answer lies just next door? One of the most Earth-like planets we've ever discovered is orbiting the very next star over. And the numbers behind that discovery? They might just blow your mind. You might think our solar system, with its eight planets, dozens of moons, and one blazing sun, is something special. But in the grand scale of the universe, it's nothing more than a grain of cosmic sand. 
Let's zoom out. The Milky Way galaxy, just our galaxy, has more than 100 billion stars. And here's the mind-blowing part. Almost every one of those stars likely has at least one planet orbiting it. That means there are potentially hundreds of billions of planets in our galaxy alone. And if just a tiny percentage of those planets are rocky, and just a tiny fraction of those lie in the habitable zone, then we might be talking about millions, even billions, of Earth-like worlds just waiting to be discovered. But there's a catch. Even with our most advanced technology, we can only detect a small fraction of them. It's like trying to map the ocean floor by staring at ripples on the surface. We're getting better, thanks to telescopes like Kepler, TESS, and now James Webb. These instruments have revolutionized the way we detect distant planets. They can't show us pictures, but they can read the dimming of a star when a planet passes in front of it, or analyze the light to see if it contains oxygen, methane, or carbon dioxide, potential signs of alien life. But with so many stars, so many planets, where do we even begin? Well, sometimes the answer is closer than we think. Just a few light years away, around the very closest star to our own, scientists made a discovery that changed everything. A rocky planet, sitting perfectly in the habitable zone, with just enough mystery to keep us awake at night. Its name is Proxima Centauri b, and what we found there will leave you speechless. In August 2016, something extraordinary happened. Scientists at the European Southern Observatory pointed their telescopes toward the closest star to our sun, and what they found sent a ripple through the scientific world. A planet, a rocky Earth-sized world, quietly orbiting a red dwarf star known as Proxima Centauri. It was named Proxima Centauri b, and just like that, it became the most intriguing exoplanet ever discovered. Why? Because this wasn't some distant gas giant 1,000 light years away. No, Proxima b lies just 4.24 light years from Earth. In cosmic terms, that's right next door. But there's more. This planet doesn't just exist, it orbits within the habitable zone. That thin sliver of space where temperatures could allow liquid water to flow and life to potentially form. That alone makes it a tantalizing candidate. But Proxima b also presents a challenge because it orbits a red dwarf, a small and relatively cool star very different from our sun. These types of stars are notoriously violent, erupting with powerful flares and intense radiation. And yet, against all odds, Proxima b seems to survive, clinging to the edges of what we might call home. Imagine this, a planet almost the same size as Earth, rocky, solid, potentially warm enough for oceans, and it's orbiting the very next star over. That's not science fiction. That's real. Confirmed. Observed. We don't yet know what secrets Proxima b holds. We've never seen its surface. But we know it's there, spinning silently around its sun just four light years away, waiting. But reaching this mysterious neighbor is an entirely different story. Because even though Proxima Centauri is the closest star to us, the journey there would push the limits of human technology and time beyond anything we've ever attempted. What would it take to get there? And why might it be impossible? On paper, Proxima Centauri b is close, just 4.24 light years away. That might sound manageable until you realize just how far that really is. Let's break it down. One light year equals nearly 9.5 trillion kilometers. So Proxima b, over 40 trillion kilometers from Earth. The fastest spacecraft we've ever built, Voyager 1, 
launched in 1977 and is still flying through space. It's currently moving at 17.3 kilometers per second. If we pointed Voyager straight at Proxima Centauri, it would take over 73,000 years to get there. That's not a typo. That's almost the entire span of recorded human history, repeated more than 10 times. Even light, the fastest thing in the universe, takes more than four years to travel the distance. And we, we're stuck on a planet that hasn't yet mastered travel beyond our own solar system. The truth is, Proxima B is both next door and impossibly far. It taunts us, so close that we can feel it, yet beyond the reach of every engine we've ever built. But there's hope. Ambitious projects like Breakthrough Starshot are working on a new kind of spacecraft. Tiny, ultralight probes powered by ground-based lasers capable of reaching 20% the speed of light. If successful, they could reach Proxima Centauri in just 20 years. No humans, no crew, but for the first time ever, we might see an alien world up close. Still, this journey would require breakthroughs in engineering, materials, and energy that we're only beginning to explore. We are prisoners of physics, racing to break our own chains. But even if we could get there, what would we find? A paradise? A barren rock? Or something far more strange? An Earth-like planet with one side burning in eternal daylight and the other frozen in endless night? Let's take a closer look at the bizarre world of Proxima Centauri b. It's roughly the same size as Earth. It's rocky. It orbits in its star's habitable zone. On paper, Proxima Centauri b sounds like a dream come true. But dreams can be deceiving. This planet isn't orbiting a sun like ours. Its host, Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf star, small, dim, and dangerously unstable. And Proxima b? It's so close to its star that it completes a full orbit in just 11 Earth days. That's right, a year on Proxima b lasts less than two weeks. But here's the twist that changes everything. The planet is likely tidally locked. That means one side of Proxima b is always facing its star, scorched in eternal daylight, while the other side is trapped in perpetual darkness, frozen and lifeless. No sunrise, no sunset, just a planet split in two, half fire, half ice. But scientists believe there may be a narrow region in between, a twilight ring where the temperature could be just right, not too hot, not too cold, a fragile balance, perhaps the only place where life could survive. It gets even more fascinating. Proxima b has a mass about 1.27 times that of Earth, meaning it likely has a solid surface, ideal for hosting oceans, continents, or alien ecosystems. But there's a catch. Because of how close it is to its star, Proxima b is bombarded with intense stellar radiation. Unless it has a strong magnetic field, like Earth's, it may have lost its atmosphere long ago. And without an atmosphere, water would boil away. Life would never stand a chance. So the big question remains. Is Proxima b a hidden oasis or a dead world baked and frozen by its own sun? For now, we don't have the answers. We can't see its surface. We can't taste its air. All we have are clues and the haunting possibility that just a few light years away, there may be a world almost like ours, but forever unrecognizable. But what if the planet isn't as lifeless as we fear? Could Proxima b be protecting itself, silently, invisibly, behind a shield we can't yet detect? In the next chapter, we explore the hope scientists still hold on to 
and the powerful forces that might be keeping this planet alive. Just when it seems like Proxima b might be too hostile, too irradiated, too unstable, scientists uncover something that reignites the hope. Because while it's true that Proxima Centauri bombards its planets with powerful flares, and while it's possible that Proxima b has lost its atmosphere, there's another possibility, one far more intriguing. What if the planet has a magnetic field strong enough to protect it? Here on Earth, our magnetic field deflects deadly solar radiation. It holds our atmosphere in place. It shields our oceans, our skies, and our lives. If Proxima b has a molten core like Earth's, even with its slow, tidally locked rotation, it could still generate a magnetic field. And if that's true, the planet might still have an atmosphere. And where there's an atmosphere, there's a chance, however small, for liquid water. And water changes everything. Even without lush forests or endless oceans, Proxima b could host simple life, bacterial colonies hidden underground, or extremophiles clinging to rocks, just like they do in Earth's harshest environments. Now, scientists are watching, listening, and calculating. Using telescopes like James Webb, they're beginning to search for biosignatures, chemical fingerprints of life, oxygen, methane, carbon dioxide. These invisible gases could be smoking guns, proof that something is breathing, growing, living. So far, no definitive signs. But every new scan brings us closer. And there's a reason scientists aren't giving up. Proxima b checks just enough boxes to keep us on the edge of discovery. It's not the most habitable world we've ever found, but it's the closest, and that makes all the difference. But no matter how promising Proxima b looks, there's one truth we can't ignore. It's not Earth. And what we find out there whether lifeless, alive, or somewhere in between, forces us to look back at the only world we know for sure can sustain life, ours. After everything we've seen, after imagining life clinging to the twilight of an alien world, there's something that becomes painfully clear. Earth is rare, maybe even unique. We breathe without thinking. We walk on solid ground, drink fresh water, watch clouds float through a blue sky. This isn't just home, it's a miracle. We search the stars hoping to find another Earth. But what we often forget is that we already have one. That doesn't mean we should stop looking. On the contrary, it means we must look harder. Because every time we find a new planet, every time we push the boundaries of exploration, we're not just chasing aliens or distant oceans, we're chasing answers. Are we alone? Is Earth the only cradle of life or just one among many? Could we one day live beyond our own star? And more importantly, should we? For now, Proxima Centauri b remains a ghostly promise, near enough to tempt us, distant enough to humble us. But someday, whether through a telescope, a robotic probe, or a new generation of explorers, we may finally unlock its secrets. And when we do, we'll understand more than just another planet. We'll understand ourselves. But what would actually happen if you landed on Proxima Centauri b? Would you burn, freeze, or worse? The truth might shock you.